So yesterday we experimented with a so-called solid state lithium ion battery and it turned out to be a nickel manganese cobate oxide. And what that means is that when it gets physically abused, um, oxygen is released that reacts with the constituents inside of the battery that releases more oxygen, which it releases more heat and it just engulfs itself in fire and flames and it's a self-propagating a thermal runaway event. But today we're gonna to do a lithium iron phosphate pouch cell instead to show people the difference. The battery cell yesterday on the data sheet said it was a solid state, but I don't think it actually was. Everything that comes from China, you have to take with a grain of salt. Now with today's test, we're gonna do a drill test. I don't wanna do a puncture. I don't wanna do an overcharge because all of these batteries have BMSs. But in a real life scenario, I could see somebody during an install accidentally drilling into a battery and causing the type of damage that we caused yesterday. And that caused an eruption of flames. Um, so let's see what will happen with the lithium iron phosphate battery instead. And this time I'll have better protection gear. Now the reason we use lithium iron phosphate in solar power systems, especially for residential use, is they're very safe. It doesn't have a self-propagating thermal runaway event. What happens instead is the electrolyte can still combust, so it has a very slow burn if you catch it on fire. Now this is because the thermal stability of lithium iron phosphate, when it reaches high temperatures, it doesn't release its oxygen. That means further heat is not being generated to cause the reaction to self-propagate. For example, if you look at a graph of how much energy is released by different lithium ion chemistries during a thermal runaway event, lithium iron phosphate pretty much has a flat line line at the very bottom. All of the other ones that are cobalt based, they release lots of oxygen, it reacts with the constituents, massive amount of heat is generated, more oxygen is released. And then you have a fire inferno after that, okay? It goes crazy, but not with lithium iron phosphate. So in this video, I wanna show you what happens when you drill into this cell. And this is a lot safer than the last video I did, luckily. And this time I have a face mask, safety glasses, and I'm wearing pants, no Crocs. Also, it's my birthday. I'm 32. Dang, look at that, nothing. So a nice slow burn and super boring. So nothing really happened. It got a little hot. It burned kind of like a small piece of wood. It did not spread. If there was another cell next to it, it wouldn't spread to that cell. Now, right now it's at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, right where it was smoking. And at the highest temperature, I saw 330 degrees Fahrenheit, but that wasn't a high enough temperature for it to release more oxygen, to react, to release more oxygen. It would cause a massive amount of heat. It did not occur. In some ways, it's more safer than a big pile of wood. Battery are still very dangerous, but lithium iron phosphate is a lot safer than the alternatives. The only other lithium ion chemistry that's safer than lithium iron phosphate is lithium titanate oxide. An LTO is incredible. You can drill into it, you can cut it in half, and it just will not have anything happen at all. Now, pretty much any other lithium ion chemistry that has cobalt is gonna react in a massive ball of flames. So yeah, lithium iron phosphate and lithium titanate oxide is the best ones out there. And currently on this channel with DIY Solar, we only use those safe chemistries because we want to deal with this, not with the fireball inferno. It is a world of a difference. So thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comment section below what you think and I will see you in the next video. Bye.